and welcome to Hack A Week number 16, broadcasting to you live on 89.9 FM. Yes, that's right, FM. It's a FM transmitter bug this week. We're going to build a simple kit that uh, is available online from a few different manufacturers, and it's a little two-transistor half-wave FM transmitter. If you put a dipole antenna on it, you can get its range up to about 100 meters. This one is good for about 30 meters. So let's take a look at the circuit, and I'll explain how it works. So these are in kit form. This one is called the FM transmitter bug. The most powerful bug possible for its size. Three volt supply and a number of components. Based on proven design, uses trim cap for easy tuning in the FM band. 50 meters within buildings, 300 meters or more in open. Full documentation and battery holder included. Pretty neat little kit. This is classic. I gotta read this to you. These are uh, packaged by DIY Electronics in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Or as the Chinese say, Hong Kong. <laughs> so listen to this. Have somewhere quiet to work with a lot of light. Have a range of tools to use. At a minimum, you will need side cutters, long nose pliers, range of screwdrivers, multimeter, and a soldering iron. Keep your work area tidy. A small mess is okay. A big mess is not. Have some reference books available. Check the tracks on the PCB. Look at the overlay on top to see where each component goes. Empty the components into a container and check each one against the list given in the kit instructions. Can you recognize each component and its value? Do you understand the mathematical shorthand used to represent small values, capacitance and inductance, and large values, resistance and hertz? About 80% of problems with kit construction come from poor soldering. 15% of problems are with components in the wrong place or around the wrong way. I want to know where they took the survey to come up with that. <laughs> uh, okay, so time to get started. This is fun. That's it. It's built. This is my aerial. Um, 9 volt power supply. That was pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'll give you a close up of what we have going on here. Simple little FM transmitter. An FM bug. As in, you could bug a room and listen to it in the room next door. But that's not what I'm going to use this for. This is just kind of to have some fun with building an FM transmitter. I've never done it. I have another kit that is a little bit uh, stronger. It's a two-stage. It's supposed to be good for um, quite a few more meters, and I'm going to see what I can do to upgrade that one and see just how far away from my house I can get and still have a signal. So this thing is ready to hook up now and, and test out. So there's the FM radio. You can hear me a little bit on it right now. Uh, I've got it tuned to uh, somewhere on the FM dial between like 89 and 90. And now I'm going to go over there where my transmitter is. And you'll hear it transmit over the radio. called the Comrade FM TX and it's a tiny little kit 
FM Bug, thanks a lot, John S., for sending me this kit. Fun to build, didn't take very long, as you saw in the video. Let's explain a little about how this works. Uh, it's basically a radio frequency oscillator that's oscillating at a, around 100 megahertz. And there's a section right here on this transistor, this coil, and this variable capacitor that's called a tank circuit. And what that does is it can store the energy for the oscillations. And over here we have a simple amplifier circuit based around the condenser microphone and a single transistor. And so the output from the collector on this amplifier, this transistor, goes to the base on this oscillator, which has its own little feedback loop. It's called a Hartley oscillator. If you want to find out more about how that works, just uh, go Google Hartley oscillator. You'll find out a little more how it, uh, how it all does its thing. But this is basically how FM works. We're modulating the frequency of that 100 megahertz carrier wave. Now you can trim the tuning with the variable capacitor. It works best if you use a plastic bladed screwdriver because you will add to the capacitance of this tiny little uh, variable capacitor if you use a, a standard metal screwdriver. Not very many components in this whole circle. It's just a half wave amplifier or uh, transmitter. And if you just use this single piece of wire, it's good to maybe about 30 meters reliably, but if you were to put a dipole on it, it would uh, transmit quite a bit further. Let's look at the schematic now. This is the amplifier section, microphone, and the first uh, transistor. There's the 22 microfarad capacitor that uh, allows only the AC signals to pass and blocks the DC signals. And so out of this amplifier stage from the collector, we go to the base on the uh, oscillator stage right here. And then we can fine tune the oscillations with this trim cap. And then it goes out to the aerial and emits the radio frequency. Very simple circuit. So if uh, you want a copy of that, uh, it's posted on the website. Or you can just go looking online, just Google something like FM Bug uh, or FM Bug Transmitter Kit, and you'll find various places that sell this kit. It's really easy to build, and uh, it's kind of a fun little project, and you learn quite a few things about electronics in the process. Um, in the, within this whole kit, there's uh, all kinds of things that you can learn. Um, You'll learn about Class C amplifiers, FM transmission, VHF antennas, positive and negative feedback, stray capacitance, crystal locked oscillators, signal attenuation, all kinds of things. So it's uh, a really efficient uh, setup. The simple half wave antenna, and like I mentioned earlier, if you want greater efficiency, you can connect a dipole antenna using a 50 ohm coaxial cable. Connect one lead to the antenna and the other point to ground. And if you use 9 volt battery, you get a lot more range out of it. Comrade, we are listening into your transmissions. <laughs> we have bugs in your walls. I love that it's called the Comrade. It's a simple little kit. Go look around online, just do a Google search for FM bug, like I said, and you'll probably find one of these kits. They're really cheap, they're like 5 to $8, something like that. And a lot of fun to build. This one was really easy. So it's just as is. And this one, this is the next one. This is next week. This is kind of a two-part two part hack. Uh, this one is the dual stage. Um, if you can see it there. The two-stage FM transmitter. This one I'm going to play around with and see if I can do a little hacking. Uh, Maybe put in something a little more high power, up the voltage a bit, and see how far I can get. Try driving down the highway and uh, see how far away I can still get a transmission. So we can look forward to that one next week. So go build one of these little FM bugs. They're lots of fun. Just don't use it for uh, spying on people and listening in and being rude. Be nice. And keep on hacking. Have fun.